All right. As a, as one of those loony bloggers, I wonder if you I wonder if you're concerned about um, uh, bloggers being sued. Uh, and now that more journalists are likely to lose their job very shortly, uh, a lot of them might strike out to be profitable bloggers. Um, as journalism fractures in that way, uh, the defense of bloggers now seems like a wise way to ensure journalists that are being trained now have a defense in courts too. What do you think about that? Repeat that. Uh, well, if, if you defend bloggers now, then journalists of today who may become bloggers of tomorrow, the professional bloggers, they'll have a better chance in the courts. I, I, I'm, I'm with you, of course. Uh, I mean, a, a, you know, we, we're for freedom of speech and we're you know, for the freedom as the ACLU famously was in the United States in favor of letting the Nazis uh, have a parade. Uh, nobody said that the Sikhs shouldn't have a parade for the Delvin Singh Parma. We just don't like the idea that Canadian MPs think that's fine. Um, so yes, I mean, it, 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 it's a fair point. Um, not all bloggers are loony. Um, maybe only 119,000 a day loonies <laughs> pop up and uh, 1,000 uh, smaller. Um, uh, you know, it, it, look, it, it, it's a cheap shot. Uh, there's nothing wrong with blogging. It may be the way of, fu of the future. You may eat my lunch in the future. So good luck. Uh, <laughs> I but, think the spammers will get us yeah, all. But the mainstream media, what do you call it, the MSM on the blogs? You go, they, they don't even give us our full name. It's called the MSN, uh, you know, like the beast, the mainstream media. Uh, we're still here, and uh, and by the way, uh, we do, uh, we are in league already with. Blo What's Ezra Levant? He doesn't have the Western Standard anymore. It's closed down. Yeah. He's a blogger. Ran out of money. You know, some people might even say he's loony, but we are in league. Are <laughs> you know, we not? I mean, the, the mainstream media was definitely weighing in in his corner, was it not, in his battle with the Alberta human rights scrofulous peoples for bureaucracy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, that you're right that there should be uh, an alliance uh, because, you know, after they come for you, then they'll come for me. Where I differ with you is that I think that alliance is already relatively healthy. Uh, we, we call you loonies, but we, we really love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, a, a close friend of mine just recently graduated from this institution and uh, started working for CTV and he just told me that they're firing all the cameramen and putting the anchors behind a green screen and controlling it all by robots in Calgary and I'm wondering is this kind of the the future of the newsroom are not even local robots <laughs> <laughs> Look, anything is possible. I mean, like, uh, you know, you fire all the cameramen, you're not, you know, it's not a good business model. Uh, TV news without pictures, you know, green screen, what are they going to put on the green screen? Slides? Mm -hmm. I mean... I think it's a, like a fake newsroom, so they don't have to have all yeah, the people actually this, by working the way? back there. Uh, CTV, I believe it is. Where? In, in Toronto? Um, well, here in Regina. <laughs>